Bay Area man grateful to be alive tonight after a night of grilling on the barbecue nearly killed him. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska has more on what you need to know to avoid a similar propane explosion at your home. I was so scared, you know, I, I thought I'm dying. Victor Sunday had no time to react. Huge boom, huge. Sunday says he lit his grill last April and was engulfed in flames, his feet suffering second degree burns. Blew up and uh, was everything on fire. Sunday says suburban propane hooked up the grill and filled his propane tank. A month later, his wife Zita smelled gas and called the company. She says a worker came to the house but never did a safety check. Everything is okay. It's normal. You have a low tank. We're going to fill it up the tank. And that's it. The fire department blames this corroded gas line for the explosion. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission has warned people about this type of hookup since 1996. The Sundays are suing suburban propane for negligence. The propane companies make their money delivering propane, not spending hours doing safety inspections. So the drivers and the company representatives cut corners. And a lot of people in Florida, of course, have grills, but the family is worried that people have the wrong connection that could lead to an explosion in their homes. I would like to uh, warn people, you know, who are using the uh, suburban propane. Luckily, I'm alive, you know, but it could end up much worse. Sunday will have scars on his feet for the rest of his life, but he hopes this doesn't happen to anyone else. We reached out to suburban propane by email, phone calls, and social media. We have not heard back. In Pinellas County, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.